Welcome back. So if you have an Apple Watch and you've been testing watchOS 26, I'm happy to let you know that today there's a new software update. And as you can see right here, if we go into our software update page, this is watchOS 26 developer beta 4. At the time I'm recording, you can see for my Apple Watch Ultra 1, it comes in at exactly 560 megabytes. And I was updating from the previous watchOS 26 beta 3. So pretty good average update size and just to keep you in the loop this is not all that apple released you can actually see that they released a bunch of beta 4 updates including watch os 26 for vision os 26 tv os 26 uh, mac os 26 beta 4 we got ipad os 26 beta 4 and ipad ios 26 beta 4 so most of these updates i do cover here on the channel at half man of tech so if you want to keep up to date do subscribe so that you don't miss out now what i'm going to do is quickly update my device to this new watchOS version. And then we're gonna look at the new software changes and some other changes that it has to offer. Just like that, my watch is now up to date. I have been doing research through the background and throughout the day for about eight hours now, just to see what different users found and different experiences. And just to show you that it's up to date, you can see the build number that I have right here, 23R. 5317G. So it ends with a G, meaning we have a bunch of other betas still to come. We'll probably reach like beta 7 or 8 with this watchOS 26 betas. And I've been able to find not too many new features and changes, but a few changes that Apple seems to have improved. One is the Photos app icon that has been refreshed slightly, the camera control, and the sleep one, which is um, the one that you see right there. So those three app icons, slightly different uh, from the previous beta. And there's a bunch of fixes that this update also offers. The first one has to do with the smart stack. So if you are a person that basically uses the smart stack, you can always go to your smart stack, click edit. And if you want to pin, actually now it froze for some reason, the bit of a delay right there, but you can see when, when now with the smart stack, if you pin, and then you basically access your smart stack. It saves your selection, which is good. Before there was an issue with the smart stack where it wouldn't save whatever preferences you have. And at the same time, you know, if you unpin, it seems to go back to the dynamic or to the time sensitive one, which basically changes throughout the day because it's dynamic that way, which is good. Another thing too that has been fixed had to do with the focus. So previously uh, when I was testing beta three, this happened, I believe two days in a row. And I was like, why is my watch face not dimming when I go into sleep mode? So the watch face would continue to illuminate, which is not supposed to be the case when you go into sleep focus mode, because everything is supposed to be black. But now after updating, you can see I tested a couple of focus modes. And now if I go into the sleep focus, cover the watch, boom, it goes blank which is how it's supposed to be if you just tap it it just dimly lights up or lights up just like that which is how it's supposed to be after a few seconds then it goes back to its normal dark mode which is how it's supposed to be and before that there was actually an issue that was causing it not to properly dim and that at least for now has been fixed. Just to keep you in the loop, in case you're wondering which is going to be the next watchOS update, you can see that yesterday, Apple released watchOS 11.6 RC. This one came out to developers. And in case you're wondering which is the next update that might be released, well, that's most likely the one that's going to come out officially to the public and for everyone. And we are anticipating that it could be released as soon as Monday, July 28th. In terms of um, watchOS 26 beta 5, there are chances that we might see it next week because this week we are anticipating the release of the first watchOS 26 public beta, which means that, you know, if you're not a developer and you have just a public beta profile, then you might be able to just update to watchOS 26. And by the time Apple releases the new beta versions to the public, 
after that we move on to weekly release cycle so we might be able to see that now another thing that i wanted to highlight i tested different watch faces i always default to this because this is my favorite watch face in case you're wondering it's called the modular ultra watch face available for the apple watch ultra one and ultra two i tested i tested different watch faces just to see if any would give me problems because on the previous betas specifically beta 2 there was an issue with that but for now i haven't been able to experience any issues so far it seems like the switching is okay you do get a little bit of you know touch issues here and there but other than that most watch faces are working good and even the new photos watch face are pretty good with this one another thing that i wanted to highlight is the control center so you can see when you actually go to the control center the animation is slightly different from the previous beta it's almost you know it comes in slow instead of the previous one that used to come in and then the icons would slowly appear so you can see how this one sort of it's like coming from the bottom and then the icons reappear which is a pretty cool animation it's actually one of the first things that you will see when you try to navigate your watch so they've slightly refreshed that now other than that that's about it for me when it comes to the watch face let me know what you think about the video and if you like more watch videos definitely do subscribe so that you don't miss out